All right, I tried to do an intro a few times and that all sucks. So I'm just gonna start working out. That's my plan. I, I was gonna talk about this tournament that I had recently. Uh, I got one win, one legit win each hand, which got me third place in the left and right open 220 class. So it was a, an improvement from my last tournament, uh, which was my first tournament as a pro where I got blown out in both hands. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to work out. I'm not even really sure what I'm going to do right now. I'm just I'm kind of thinking about that right now. Uh, and I'll take you all along for the ride. All right, I think I'm going to start out this exercise uh, by doing a Rolling Thunder deadlift. I've done a single-handed Rolling Thunder deadlift and got to 198. I don't plan on really hitting any PRs uh, or even going very heavy today because I'm still pretty tender from the tournament and uh, yeah I just don't think I'm gonna do that great today as far as like going heavy and the majority of the workout after this is gonna be lighter but uh, the, the one uh, difference that I'll be doing in this deadlift is because I have two rolling thunder handles I'm gonna uh, do it like with two hands the deadlift uh, it, I got kind of inspired by uh, where these guys will lift up like, I don't, I'm not even sh exactly sure how heavy the stones are, but they're two stones. They have one behind their, their back and then one in front of them, and they just kind of do a deadlift like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do, uh, with both hands, uh, this Rolling Thunder deadlift thing. All right, this is the first set. It might be a little bit awkward because I'm not used to this movement, trying two at once, so. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Not too bad. That's only uh, 55 pounds per hand. About to chunk uh, another 44 pounds on there. All right, I got 100 pounds per hand right now on the uh, Rolling Thunder. So uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, get a look at it real quick. That's what I'm working with. All right, I just chunked the rest of the weight that I have on there. So this is uh, 165 pounds per hand. Oh gosh! Got the right one up, couldn't get the left one. Let's try it again. Yeah, the left one's not coming up. Alright, let me show y'all what I attempted. So yeah, it's 165 pounds per hand. Uh, I got the, the front one, I couldn't get the back one, I couldn't get the left hand. So. Gosh, I sweat so easy, I'm not even doing anything that hard. Uh, I decided to go for a single arm deadlift. I know I said I wouldn't go heavy, but I always just kind of want to test it. <laughs> Other stuff I want, but this doesn't really uh, bother my injury too bad, so I'm just gonna go for it. I don't really expect much, especially on my left, but we'll try the left first. This is 108 pounds. Oh gosh, the left is weak. Alright, let's see if I can do it with the right. The right's not feeling super strong. Barely cracked it off the ground. Alright, moving on. So, uh, the next exercise is just going to be back pressure. Uh, my inner elbow really hurts, so I'm going to stay away from side pressure today. Uh, if I do any kind of side pressure or bicep or inner elbow, base stuff it's gonna be real real light uh, but my my back pressure my breakout is on, a, on both arms feels pretty good so uh, I'm gonna start out with 25 and then work my way up 
I'll probably do kind of more like a dynamic, like moving my arm while it's lighter. And then uh, as it gets heavier, I'll probably just kind of like keep an isometric hold with my, uh, my shoulder and, and hand and just lean back. I need to get my back pressure way stronger. That's one thing I know for sure. So I'm working on it. See, even with just 25 pounds and back pressure, I still feel it in the inner elbow a little bit. Sucks. Sucks being injured. Especially people that have never really been injured before. Uh, arm wrestling wise, like aside from like newbie pains and stuff like that, I'm talking about an actual injury. It's not fun. making small jumps this is just a 10 pound jump so this is only 35 pounds and uh yeah i mean i had a tournament less than two weeks ago i'm still feeling it so i'm just shut up dog so i'm just uh trying to get whatever work in i can my left doesn't feel too bad though it's just the dang right You know, all this talk about East versus West, seems like every time there's an East versus West type thing, we're always going to the East. It'd be nice to see them going to the West. All right, here's uh, the bad arm. My strong but broken arm. Yeah, it just hurts. All right, here's 45. Ah. Oh, it hurts in the forearm. The right hurts in the, the forearm and the inner elbow. Unfortunately. Once it warms up, it kind of goes away a little bit though. Still hurts. <laughs> Alright, so this is 55 pounds. I think I'm just gonna stop here as far as going up in weight and just do a quick circuit. Uh, I'll just show you all the whole thing so I can kind of see it in real time. But, uh, yeah, this is 55 pounds. 55 pounds on the back pressure. I'm gonna do curls also. Only 25 pounds. And this is more of just like a rehab thing for the elbow. Uh, and I'm gonna do this wrist thing that I have. So. Here we go. This is painful. 
got my heart center a little on the right, I don't know where it's left. left one's got anything going on. Come on. I go two different ways. So when I, whenever I'm going this way, that's uh, radial flexion. And then I'll go the op opposite way and it's uh, owner flexion. I think a lot of people neglect those movements, that kind of rising movement and then that chopping down movement. A lot of people do supination and pronation. A lot of people aren't doing radial or ulnar flexion. All right, I'm gonna back up. I look like I got no forearms from this angle, huh? They're not very big anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure what number that is, but... Dude, one more. Ooh. Pretty good. This really old truck with a uh, tent drove by. Kind of threw me off because you don't really ever see old old trucks with tent. I'm starting to get a starting to get a little pump, y'all. And my elbow just popped trying to flex. Oh gosh. 
Yeah, my morning. back pressure could improve big time. Back to the curls. Let's show some uh, some hard arm side on some profile. Kind of hurts in her elbow, I'm not gonna lie. Even 25 pounds on the right arm anyway. I'm not gonna do a ton of reps either. I'm just gonna do multiple. Multiple rounds with uh with very little rest. I don't know, what's more interesting, my, my tiny arms or... Sorry if I keep looking over here. I'm uh, making sure I'm in the frame and you know those arm wrestlers are kind of vain, but I can see what they look like. So. Normally I'm looking at myself in a mirror when I'm working out. Oh god, you know, I'm getting fatigued at this, so normally. I'm gonna do this little green plate, and actually I had this 2.5 not that long ago. This exercise is kind of hard. If you palm it, if you do it in your palm, it's much easier. They actually recommend to do it on your fingertips, though. This is... Uh, this is 7.75 pounds. It's not even very heavy. Oh, the left is starting to fail. So I can't get one more the other direction, doesn't feel too bad. My own reflection is not too bad. My damn rising is going though, my rate of flexion. I've been doing a lot of uh, back pressure stuff though, so it kind of makes sense. Anytime you're kind of doing back pressure, you're trying to stay radial flexed. <clears throat> so my left is, is barely able to do it. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more round of this and then find something else to do. I'm dripping. It's hot out here in Texas and humid. But I'm a sweater. It is what it is. It's just a pretty big guy. Feeling so weak, it's ridiculous. I might have to call it after this round. Whew. 
This is Thursday and I've done some pretty hard works, workouts all this week, so I don't know if it's that, just the accumulation of exercise got me tired or what, but Not even that hard really at the workout either. Like my heart is probably not super hot. It's just feels hot out here. I'm like so sweater. Alright, I'm gonna call it. Well I hope that was fun for you guys. Uh, I got a little something. I got a little something. Well, this is kinda of scrawny. Still decently. It's not. It's not the greatest lighting out here. Why, why is the uh, why is bathroom lighting like the best? All right. Well, I hope y'all have fun watching me do this uh, quick workout. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys. I'll check y'all next time.